everybody it's USA um, I just wanted to give you guys an update so I go home um, after taking Eileen to the doctor and um, I'm driving um, to go pick her back up or was it yeah and no forgive me I'm, I'm aggravated right now and um, Lord Jesus please come quickly forgive me of my anger forgive me of my this feeling inside because it's not from you Lord it's not from you it's from the evil one and I just had a revelation that anyone that gives you these feelings doesn't realize that these feelings are coming from the evil one so anytime you feel angry or upset for a reason of well the reason is I'm upset because my mother calls me tells me I got an email from the landlord oh you got to take down the cameras you got to take down the cameras uh, you got to take down the cameras well uh, what you told me my mother told me we're not taking down the cameras no way uh -uh, it's not gonna happen in Jesus name now she calls me up oh you gotta take nope and I got angry and I and I told her I said mom I'm not taking down the cameras I said what happened to proclaiming the faith and I hung up on her plain and simple I hung up on her I'm not taking down my cameras the building has got paint peeling off it everywhere. It's got mold growing all over the place. The, tr the trees aren't groomed right. And I have a cameras where they are to protect my home, to protect the people around me, to protect my neighbors as well. What if something happened and one of their homes got broken into? I have cameras that are in the hall. I could see who went in their home. Oh, what do you think I'm doing? Looking, using the cameras to, to watch people? Uh, you freaking people nuts? Seriously? Get a life. In Jesus name, get a life. And for any of you Satanists out there, I pray that God has mercy on your souls. Oh, do I pray he has mercy on your souls. I pray it. I have love for you guys. That love is called the love of God. And I shall so want to share it with you. But I don't have any love for money like you guys do I love to breathe air I love to look at the beautiful creation that God created I love to look up at the sky and to the heavens I love to pray to the Lord I love to have a person I love having a personal relationship with him and in these end times it's hard and Lord Yeshua understands how hard it is how about this um, not open I just got text from my mother okay okay so I just read the text message and um, it hurts to know that your own mother and it is written it is written. 
mothers to turn their mothers against their sons, sons against their mothers, son, uh, you, mother-in-law against her mother. Um, it, it's the truth. And it's happening. Again, I told my mom. I said, Mom, I... We, and I pointed at her, and I pointed at Eileen, and I, I will always choose Yahshua, Mashiach, my Lord and Savior, over anybody, anytime, anywhere, at any place. I put all my trust in him, and I rely on his grace and his forgiveness for my sins. Through the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, who died on the cross for all of our sins, who rose from the dead, sits at the right hand of the Father, and is our who is our ambassador, ambassador to the Lord himself. And I am forever grateful for every day I wake up, every breath I take, every person I can bring a smile to their face. I I am tired of being around my mother. I I went there this weekend and I I for, I have this in my head this this resentment towards her because all, the whole time I was when I, when Eileen was in imprisoned, incarcerated because my mom threw her out on the street and I was, I didn't know what to do with myself because I love Eileen with a deep love. Just like it's, it is written in um, the book of, oh, please come to me. The, the book of Daniel, I think. Uh, please come to me. Father, about uh, it's anyways. It, it's it's about having a deep love for your wife, and that wife having a, a, a very uh, respect for the man, and that deep love I've had for Eileen and every other person that I call my friend. Now I call them my brother or my sister, even the people that. I I walk by, I always say, hey, brother, how are you? How are you doing? God bless you. But I don't just say God bless you. I say God bless you in Jesus' name. You can say God bless you all you want. Some people may just think, you know, oh, is this Catholic or this or that. I say God bless you in Jesus' name. I don't just say God bless you. Because when you sneeze, God bless you. Now I'm going to start saying God bless you in Jesus' name when you sneeze. That just <laughs> Lord, I love you so much and this is just this is not cool. This my mother proclaims to be a Christian, but she As hard as it is to say I am not being the judge of anybody. I will not judge any person ever. But the truth is the truth. And I'm going to speak what's inside of my heart right now. I don't believe my mother's saved. She's a wonderful person. And she's been there for me. But she does. she forgot how to love. She forgot how to love. She forgot how to love. Sister Ann Miller, I just got your text. I'll read it in a minute. I love you guys so much. You guys are forever. For I love you guys so much. I don't think you guys understand how deep this love goes. This love does not come. I was born with this love. And... I tell some of my brothers and sisters that when I was a small child in a cr in the crib, I felt evil trying to get me. And as an infant child, 
I felt it. So I must have been chosen. I must have been chosen for something special if this evil wanted to get at me that bad. So with that said, I humbly say that. And um, yeah, you guys, I love you guys so much. And I feel like, you know, I don't, I can't go to my mom for the love that it's not there anymore. It hasn't been there since she kicked Eileen out on the street. Unfortunately, it's the truth, and that's the way I feel. And the Lord wants us to honor our mother and our earthly earthly father. Well, I do my best to honor my mother. I was up there this weekend, and I had no bed to sleep in or nothing, and I was in a hot room, and, uh, you know, I'm her son, and Eileen is her daughter-in-law, and we're both Christians, and you, we have other family, it was my grandmother's 87th birthday, and, um, God bless her heart, um, I love my grandmother, um, but, you know, it's like every other family. They, it, it's, the, the Bible is so true. Every word that Jesus spoke. Huh. There's another text from um, Sister Ann Miller or something. something. I, that one caught my eye, sis. I love you so much. Um, God bless you all. And in Jesus' name, and this, it's so important to love. Love is the key. Just like I said, love is the key. You want, it's just like the Lord said, if you don't have love, then you don't, everything else you have, yeah, a resounding gong. And I, I feel like this is what Satan is trying to do. He's trying to take that love out of the women. So that when we share love, when you try to share love, it creates a conflict. So it starts to darken your heart and you can't let that happen. And it aggravates you. So we have to rely on, we have to constantly rely on our faith, on Jesus, on his outpouring of his, of his love for us. So... It's so important that we always remember to, when we wake up in the morning, to, to thank Him for His grace and to pray for His grace to be given to us for our sins known and unknown. Because we're sinners, we're going to sin. And, and I rely on it because in this end time, it, it's hard just to keep your cool with all of this system that's, I don't even want to talk about that disgusting thing. Anyways, it's coming, and we all know it. So, my mom's saying that um, to take the cameras down, to put them inside, and then da -da 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 -da, put them inside, yeah, where they can watch me. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. I just got a text about something and I think it was from my mom and that's the devil right there talking about the Ten Commandments about disobeying um, and honoring your mother see see that see that and my mom says she always sees the number 666 but she pays it no mind This is the truth. I love you guys. God bless you. I love you so much. Please know that Sister Ann Miller, Brother Ronnie Miller, my brother Dennis. Oh, what you mean to me, you guys? Dennis, what you mean to me? Brother Josh, what you mean to me? Sister Donna, what you mean to me? Sister Victoria Grace, what you mean to me? George, what you mean to me? All of you that they're there that don't comment. 
Um, I think, I believe in my heart that you guys know, you know about me. And um, I hope to God that you guys are, are learning um, from me, if not, and if you're there because you think it's some kind of joke or you think it's funny to watch this happen to me, that's okay. I love you too. Laugh it out. But at least I know in my heart where I'm going to go. I have hope and I have faith. And I will have it, and I will rejoice in it, and I will proclaim it, and I will exalt his name until the day I die. I almost forgot to add this in there. The guy who installed my cameras, who worked for Comcast, his sister lives in the same building as me, across the hall. That's the truth. So, now why after two and a half years, all of a sudden, this new management, this new, new everything, right? New system, new management. Oh, well, what are you going to do, right? I know what I'm going to do. I live forever in the land of Yeshua, the Messiah. Glory be to God.